Today I'm going to show you guys how to do one of my favourite hairstyles, the fishtail braid. This style is best for girls with pretty long hair and as you can see I am one of those. Literally all you need is just two hair ties and your hands. Um, it's much easier than people think. They always kind of see me with a fishtail braid and say, oh my god that's amazing, how do you do that? But it's actually really easy. So you just start by putting your hair in a loose ponytail, kind of at the nape of your neck, so quite low down. And do keep it loose, so just two rounds of the hair tie should be fine. Okay, next you want to split your hair into two pieces that you can grab with either hand, just like that. Try to split them evenly. Oh, give you a little smile and everything. And then just hold one in either hand, like that. Okay, the next part, and this is where the fun starts is you want to grab a small piece of hair from the outside of one of those handfuls and cross it over to the other side. And then you just keep repeating that process. So you grab a small piece from the outside. I'll do it over and over so you see it. Just like that. You grab a small piece, you cross it over and include it in your other bunch of hair. So basically you're just grabbing small pieces from the outside, crossing them over and including them in the new handful. And word from the wise, or rather word from an idiot who made a bad mistake, make sure you brush your hair well before you start this, otherwise it will just be a tangled nightmare. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys in a bit more detail what the process actually involves. So, like I said, you're grabbing a small piece from each half of your hair, and you're crossing it over to join the other half. So you just grab a small piece, like I'll show you here, small piece from the outside and cross it over the front, and if you find it easiest to kind of loop your finger around it to join it in a new group, then that's fine. Um, but it is easy because you're just dealing with two kind of main handfuls of hair and you're just adding new bits to it all the time. Um, if it's easy for you, I find it easy kind of in between each time um, you, you grab a new bit like this. I kind of grab sturdy with either hand um, the sides of the hair just so that you know what you're doing and you don't get muddled, which happens quite often. Um, just so you're sure what you're doing. So basically it's a really repetitive process. You get better just as you go down your hair, um, you get used to it. You are just holding two main bits of hair though and kind of um, doing this crisscross motion which you get really used to after, after a couple of turns. So this is just showing what it's like at the end. Um, I quite often use my thumbs, you can see, to kind of bring forward that small piece that I want to add to the plait. Um, yeah. It's kind of quite a repetitive process, which makes it easy to get the hang of, I think. Okay, at the end of the braid, you want to use that second hair tie to fasten the bottom. Unlike that one at the top, this one needs to be really, really tight, so make sure you loop it around a lot. Okay, the last step is to take out this loose hair tie that we have at the top. And the reason we have it loose is so that we can actually open the hair tie nice and wide, just like this, um, leaving space to kind of feed the braid through without getting any strands out of place or damaging the braid at all. And once you feed it through like this, there should just be one loop left which you can easily just slide off. Lastly, I like to always kind of just loosen the hair around my face like this. Um, just any spare strands to fall out makes it look a bit more casual. So here's the finished product. Um, it's one of my favourites. It's actually surprisingly easy and you always get heaps of compliments and it's just really fun. So give it a go and thanks for watching.